how do you keep yourself motivated whilst at home? I have eyelash glue on my eyeball. I do not recommend this my plans now that I'm basically graduated. This kind of looks a mess. Any tips for starting bird? I'm starting in September. Oh, congrats. <laughs> I've already got a Sula, I can feel it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh no, has my lens been dirty this whole time? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing like a makeup, a makeup video on my channel which is a bit, of a, rare, a bit of a rare occurrence that did not just want to come out of my mouth. It is doing this smoky eye here, nude lip, basically the glam that I want to wear post quarantine to the clubs, the pubs, the bars, nice dinners. I'm not being funny, I'd probably go with this for a day out. I just wanted to get glam for my family tonight and i thought i may as well vlog the process you guys asked to see more makeup related content so here we are i hope you enjoy the vid i am not a makeup artist i just really enjoy playing with makeup if you do enjoy these kinds of videos please do let me know so i can do more um i love experimenting with makeup so if you want to see that on camera let me know, let me know and I will deliver. It was a process, it was a trust the process sort of video. <laughs> Not gonna ramble anymore, hope you're all doing good, hope you're all well. And yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm still undecided on what look I'm gonna go for. So as you would have seen in my last vlog, I got this Beauty Bay palette and someone just commented, oh you finally got another palette. It's because I've been using this really cheap coloured eyeshadow for ages and I finally bought a... Oh, no, I'm just filming. Sorry. It's alright? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Some clean clothes. And I finally got a new bright eyeshadow palette. And the look that I did in the last vlog with the green, I love. But I feel like I can't, I can recreate it, but it's not my look. Um, I will leave the girl, I keep talking about her, I'm literally obsessed with her, um, Maddie Hill from TikTok. Um, and I just copied her tutorial, so I will leave her thing linked down below, her video because i think i want to do like the fox eye smoky eye type glam because i feel like this is like the glam maybe the glam the, like post lockdown makeup on a night out potentially i don't know if we're gonna go that glam i don't know you you would have already seen by now i don't really record i don't really film makeup videos um but you know when I first started my channel when I was like 14 or 15, my thing, sorry, I'm looking for my concealer. Oh, it's in my bag. Okay, the hair is, the hair is going back. It is pretty warm. Um, yeah, so my thing was makeup when I first started my channel. Bless me. Um, and I used to collect it. I used to honestly live for buying new makeup. And that sort of over the years changed to fashion and stuff so yeah i don't really do them but i thought for today's video why not so i just popped some fit me on my lids as like a base i do get quite a few makeup questions so hopefully i can answer them all for you today um but i thought this would also be like a chance to um have a chatty catch up because in my drive with me with my brothers i obviously answered um you guys asked me some questions over on Instagram but because I had them in the car I obviously wanted to like aim the questions to do with them um, as well um, so that they I don't know they would be like interested <laughs> so I do have a few questions from you guys um, so I'm gonna answer those as well how is everyone doing how is everyone finding it are people like socially distanced like meeting up with their friends because i'm sure and i know for me like that's definitely helped this whole thing because it's sort of like oh okay you know maybe things are progressing but i just i crave a night out i crave dinner and some cocktails honestly i cannot wait to just see all my friends and just have a really good time and just a hug i i tweeted um this is gonna get so chatty you know what i'm like i tweeted the other day about um i hugged my nan for the first time because she's now part of our like bubble and it was 
amazing so yeah that was nice um i'm gonna take the beauty bay palette this is look at it look this is what happened when i went to park life um we weren't even camping i think i just knelt on it by accident but i love this palette this is the origin palette by beauty bay as you can see it looks very well loved um and i'm just gonna take these two pretty much just like all over but focusing it on the outer corner because i want to do like a fox eye um i will be like extending it all out um i don't really have any like specific brushes that i use for my makeup either i to be honest i kind of i'm in need of some new ones um because i've had these for a very very long time um but i i'm just look i just usually get them off amazon like the really affordable ones and they do do the job um so yeah, just blending that up and out like this. I didn't bother putting my ring light on. I mean, I could have, but I just wanted to keep it pretty chilled, pretty chatty, pretty vlog style. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm just going in with the same colour and building it up again. Um, I had a lot of you on Instagram asking me about like my plans now that I'm basically um, graduated um, because obviously we've now all sort of accepted that we're not going to go back to bird um as much as it like breaks my heart and i really try not to think about it too too much um but they said that we were going to do like an online awards night on the day that we would have graduated um and graduated sorry i didn't didn't pronounce that very good <laughs> um and then wait probably till 2021 i've already got a sula i can feel it um to to have a proper grad which is fair i mean yeah we want a proper grad we don't want to do any online grad anything like that um i'm then going to go in with this shade here this is if we do the like coordinates thing this is transition four and the first two colors i used were base six and seven so yeah i mean you know it's fine it's it's happening to everyone um at least we will have one we will have one eventually and yeah it will be fine um but my plan okay so obviously my plan was not to move home um that wasn't in my plan as much as i love being at home um you know that wasn't originally in my <laughs> plan of the next step um so at the minute i the industry there's nothing really going on although i have done some online like auditions and stuff um but as of now there's not a lot happening like tv and film and stuff is sort of starting back up again yeah that's the deal with that um i am planning on moving back to london um sorry just quickly i think i'm gonna take a mix of um, crease two and liner two and focus that this is what I've done so far focus that on the outer corner and dragging it up making it, it that that <laughs> making that like fox eye shape what did I say I was gonna use I'm planning on moving back to London um, in the near future just have to weigh up sort of money and everything obviously um, another question was am I still paying rent in my house in London yes I am um, I mean very kindly my parents pay my rent for me um, which I am so thankful for and I plan on paying my own rent obviously when I am no longer a student so it's just I have to work out money and stuff but um, yeah, I currently still have to pay for the house I'm living in, which is shite because I am obviously haven't lived in it for months, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so my plan is to move back. I don't know which part of London yet. Um, I live at the minute like, well, I think I said it in the blog. I live in Sidcup, which is like um, east near towards Kent, um, but it only takes like 20 minutes to get to London Bridge. So it's a pretty good location because it's it doesn't feel like central london at all it just it feels like a nice like homely place but it doesn't take long to get into central london so 
um, it could, could potentially look around that area again, although we may want to look further into like more central central. I honestly don't know. Um, and I want to try and save up first before moving. So, cause I know that I'll have to like, I know I'll have to grind and I'll have to hustle. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I don't want to make it any harder for myself. Um, so yeah, that is the current, that's the current situation, that's the current living situation anyway. Obviously I love being at home, so it's not a stress for me. I'm not desperate to go, but this isn't me moving, ho moving home, do you know what I mean? This is just sort of like a, a temporary situation. Yeah, I, this kind of looks a mess, kind of looks messy now. Um, this is what I've done, just built up in the outer corner, but my plan is to, I could cut the crease um, because I could cut the crease, couldn't I? Hmm. Do you know what? Mm, do I want to do that? I might cut the crease and still do the fox. Is that that's kind of cheating? But I might give it my own my own little touch to it. But I am going to take what colour is on this brush? Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna take like a very, I'm gonna mix the dark brown and the black and literally add that into my outer corner. Um, and then I might clean up with a makeup wipe to see where we are at that point. Sorry, should I, you can kind of see what I'm doing anyway, can't you? I could zoom you in a little bit. Okay. Woohoo, I'm gonna blend. Obviously now I've got an agent. I mean, I had an agent anyway because um, if you go to Bird, you get signed. Bird have their own agency, um, but most people do look to go with another agent. I mean, some people don't, but most people do look to go for another agent when they graduate, just because it's sort of like okay, just like moving on. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I'm super, super happy that I've signed with you, you management, because they are fab, and I really, really um, like my agent. Um, so my plan is to just keep, just keep pushing. I mean, obviously things are slightly limited at the moment, but you've just got to keep, you've got to keep pushing. Um, and we're just going to take this brush, there's nothing really on it, but I just want to blend the colours a bit more here. I'm really trusting the process here, not going to lie. Okay, I'm going to take some concealer. Um, this is my mum's, it's the MAC one, but I've kind of... The thing is with this, it, it gets so much out. You do not need that much at all. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna cut the crease. This is something I don't really do, so when I do do it, I feel quite bougie. Um, what brush do I want? Right, let me cut my crease and I'll be back because I'm feeling a bit under pressure. Right, Elliot's just FaceTime me. Give everyone a wave. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you filming? Just this makeup. Oh, she's just quick interlude with L's there. Um, I'm just gonna wipe away. Oh, so I cut the crease and then I went in with the same colours just to blend it all in back together. Um, I'm gonna cut, no, I'm not. I'm gonna carve out the fox eye shape with, with a wipe. Okay, I've just sharpened up both sides. I'm gonna add my wing liner. I cannot for the life of me do this on camera. Well, I could. Oh, also guys, something that I don't recommend. So I, okay, I lie. I do recommend this. I'll leave this link down below. It's the best eyeliner I've ever used, but it's now dried up. I have had it for a while. So I ordered this one, the Maybelline uh, Hyper Precise All Day. And it's like dry already. I've literally had this for like less than a week and it's pretty much dry already. So I do not recommend this at all, <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get some out of it now anyway. Okay, eyeliner is done. I'm gonna now with go over the eyeliner and add add black. Oh, actually, I don't know if I've just messed it up. I meant to add oh, add black and blend it in to create the proper like fox eye. To be fair, <laughs> I mean, I've definitely done better looks in my time, but I feel like with some lashes and when the face is on, we'll be all right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the eyes, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go in with skin and then we can go back in with the eyes. Do you know what I mean? We can, it's fine. I'm saying this, I'm blooming 
staying in so it doesn't actually matter but it's just a bit of fun isn't it if you can hear my brothers screaming um they're on Fortnite, and apparently it's quite wild tonight um so i'm just going to take a mix of my favorite primark foundation this is the double coverage matte in the shade toffee and a mix of this um catrice hd lip coverage concealer to lighten it slightly because i found i don't i don't really know um i found the primark one to just be very um it's quite it's quite orangey and dark um so if i just add a bit of this to lighten i prefer to bronze up than go in with a proper dark uh base and then i'm just gonna take so i found this number i think this is my mum's to be honest this number seven brush and i love the way it actually that is a bit light but it's fine um i'm gonna yeah buff it in with this brush and then go over with the sponge i've really found i've enjoyed that method <laughs> okay foundation done i'm gonna go in with the maybelline fit me oh i nearly got it on the liner maybelline fit me i'm gonna try to do that um the highlight trend that everyone's doing the like upward this one <laughs> um i think you just highlight the inner the corner of your eye and then you like drag it up Something about the eyes, I think the eyes have gone very cool toned. I don't usually do cool tones, so maybe that's why I'm a bit like, um... Okay, and I don't know whether to add shimmer or not. I think I might stick it out with the matte. I think, no, I'm going to stick it out with the matte and do like a glossy lip and glowy skin. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to blend. Um, I also like to use the concealer to like sharpen up that edge as well okay we're all concealed i'm gonna go in with the maybelline and um, matte stay matte i forgot what it was called then and a big fluffy brush um and pat that under my eyes i'm pretty much just all over my face okay time to bronze i've been my bronze has been really hit and miss like sometimes i'll do it and it looks really good and then other times it looks really cakey i'm struggling to find um yeah i'm struggling to not make it look cakey all the time if i'm being honest i have been using more blush than i have bronze so i'm gonna take this um hula <laughs> i call it it's, it's the fake hula it's the w7 copy of the hula with this really small brush literally dot that like that in a <laughs> lot in my cheekbone and do the same this side and just on my nose and my chin and then once the excess is off then go back in and blend right lovely and then then gonna go in with blush this is a stage makeup brush i'll leave it or link down below um, but this one is just a really lovely like peachy colour and I'll just aim that basically on top of where I put my contour is what I found to be the best places to be honest I just I really like blush at the minute um, I feel like everyone's become more obsessed with blush than they have like anything else these are all just like my favourite products really my wet and wild highlighter in precious petals i've literally used this highlighter for years and years and years and years um and just pop that on all high points of my face and then i'm gonna go back in and finish off my eyes i'm just gonna add i'm just gonna add some of the shades that we put um in the crease underneath the eye that now looks really warm because i've made the eye look very um cool toned but i actually am enjoying having the more brown warm tone underneath it's so my camera just filled up memory but whilst it did that i was zooming you guys in i just did my eyebrows and i used um this is my favorite pencil for eyebrows i think it is the max factor brow one i just used the shade brown um i love it i i need to get my brows done because quarantine is taking its toll um and then i also went in with like a warmer dark brown shade and just used it to like warm everything up a little bit um and added some maybelline lash sensational 
whilst my lashes are just um, getting tacky, um, they, they are the Ilia Fluttery Light Lashes. I will leave them linked down below, of course. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do bottom lash mascara, maybe warm the face up a little bit more and move on to lips. So let's pop these lashes on. Hopefully, uh, I might leave them a slight bit longer. Whilst I'm doing that, I will have a look at the questions that you guys asked me. Oh, my phone's been on charge this whole time and it hasn't charged at all. Any tips for starting bird? I'm starting in September. Oh, congrats. Um, I get a lot of this. I get a lot of these questions quite a lot. Um, tips, I would say be confident. Don't start unconfident. You got in for a reason. You're there for a reason. Believe you're good enough to be there. Um, be open to trying different styles if you've never done them. Um, if you're more of a dancer and you're not much of a singer, push yourself to... Sorry, I've got really bad foundation lips. Push yourself... Just make the absolute most of every minute because everyone says it goes quickly it honestly flies by um make the most of every minute because you'll never get the time back and another tip if you learn something in a lesson that you struggle with or find hard try and master it um try and nail nail that thing by the next week because i some things i still know i think if i just put a bit more effort in if i just spent a bit more time on it here it would come naturally now so just go in 100 percent um but don't uh it, especially in first year i got very like um, I need to work hard and, and, and of course you do like I'm not saying that but remember you are also there to have fun and to make friends and to be social I'm just trying to find my tweezers um yeah remember all those things so really really try and enjoy it because it can get very like serious and very like work 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 so try and find the fun in things as well um I hope that helps I think I am kind of tempted to maybe do like an instagram live and have you guys i have eyelash glue on my eyeball it's literally on my eyeball and do a live q a on instagram all of like questions about bird because i get so many questions and i can't reply or sometimes i feel like i just can't answer them all and a lot of them are like the same sort of questions so if you guys would be in interested in me doing an instagram live all about bird and like drama schools and stuff i'm planning on doing a drama school essentials video i do have a drama school how many times can i say drama school i do have drama school q a form an art school whatever you want to call it up on my channel already i can link it down below i think i filmed it maybe over a year ago now but i think all my answers will probably be the same um so yeah let me know if that's something you would be interested in because i think before i started i would have wanted to have known all of these things anyway so i completely see where you guys are coming from what's your favorite dance move uh depends what genre although i do love a good kick on the left leg because i'm a very left leg yeah those people are um asking me about like my career right career wise like once i've graduated um hopefully get a job um of some description don't know obviously don't know where the industry is at the minute but um yeah i will i'm put, manifesting it into the air i am gonna get a job i will get a job so we're manifesting it let's manifest together how do you keep yourself motivated whilst at home uh it's a tough one um and it definitely comes in waves do not feel guilty if you don't feel motivated it is completely normal i'm gonna add some highlight in my inner corner as well um yeah it's completely normal if you don't feel motivated i have definitely i like it's so hard doing blooming jazz in your living room it really is like um and stuff like that but i would say planning my weeks um has made it so much better for me like planning my days and like things that i want to achieve just like setting myself little goals even big goals um on things that i want to try and get done just literally um and then even on the days where you don't feel motivated make the most of those days of just chilling because i find when i have those chill days um i think okay right i've had a 
I've had a chill day or two or three or four um, and now I'm ready. Sometimes you just need to take a break to regain that motivation, especially that is um, a kind of a good pointer for anyone starting like a drama school or something. Um, it is so important to take breaks because you get so burnt out. It honestly is so important and um, make sure you are taking time for yourself because you can get so caught up in not doing that and it is it's hard um i'm gonna take this miss sporty brown i think it's in the shade i don't even know if you can get this it's in the shade 14 earth but this is the lip i've been loving recently found motivation oh, i've got blooming eyeliner on my chin found motivation from planning i'm such a plan kind of person i love writing things out and like being able to see it visually on a piece of paper makes me motivated um what else is there um do you have a, like do you have those friends that motivate you and you speak to them and after you've spoken to them you're like oh that's really motivated me <laughs> uh yeah that's another thing or uh, if you know someone who can give you like a prep talk it's always good um yeah planning is my top tip and also setting little goals is definitely a good way okay once i've lined my lips what i've been liking doing recently is this concealer it's basically run out anyway so i don't really have a problem with it touching my lips um i just dab a bit of that on in the middle and just go like that <laughs> and then i'll just blend that out with my finger and then i just go in with the, the darker lip liner around the edges to get that like gradient of color um, and then I'm gonna take a gloss. I've hardly got any of this left. I'm fully scraping the edges. Uh, I do have a, a clear, completely clear gloss, but I think that's in another bag. Hair has been curled and styled. You can't really see because I've got my gown. Fully just flashed my boobs, so I'm gonna have to make sure I edit, edit that out. Adina, pay attention. Yeah, here's the finished look. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit very dramatic probably more um dramatic than i was going for if i'm being honest um but i really like how this turned out i'm definitely going to be taking this into the post lockdown clubs and bars um i love this hairstyle as well i just curl it and then do like half up with two bits either side um but my battery is flashing so yeah this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did um something a bit different so yeah if you liked it please let me know please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already so much love i hope you're all doing all right and i will see you in my next video bye you don't love me no more watch me walk out the front door i don't really know